Hey everybody, Jessica Pretty Prints and Paper, and I am back with another video. If you are new here, I talk about a lot of things on my channel, but like my name suggests, I talk about things like creative planning, productivity, using a bullet journal, creative planning, and as well I also talk about calligraphy and alcohol ink. So I do a lot of things here, but all to channel your personal creativity and productivity. Today I have a video about bullet journaling and using a time chart. I used to call this a Gantt chart, but that's not exactly what this is, and I use it in a lot of different ways. Uh, my theme for my year is orchestrate your life, and part of that means to understand what the flow of my year looks like, what are my big anchors, and be able to make some intentional choices to support that overall goal. One of the ways that I did that was by looking at my entire year. You've seen this in other videos, but I first like to anchor in some of my major responsibilities and roles. So one of those is my job, and that is all the different things up here including some of my major responsibilities, some of the maybe unique things. This is how I kind of capture that feeling of cycles, and this visualization helps me understand the flow of my energy throughout the year. I do highlights for the areas that I'm highly concentrated on, or it's really intense at that time, and I use these marks for I'm working on it, but it's not the most intense level of that project at that time. And here, I also wanted to be dramatic and added black dashes for the times where it's intense and really intense. So I understand by looking at this, when my busy times are, when the light times are, and down here is more like the personal stuff. So understanding how the flow and harmony of my work and personal life intersect, and I can better plan around these things if I can with uh, the littler things. These are the major responsibilities in my life. I'm not talking about some of the day-to-day -day appointments or things like that. That kind of sprinkles in throughout. If you're thinking about the big rocks of your year, these are the things that are consistent, whether or not we're online or in person. And so all the other things kind of get scheduled around these things. So the sand, the pebbles in that metaphor fall in after these things. I do not plan the minutia of my day using this. This I just want to know what's the big stuff. Other ways that you can use this, you can use this for school. You can use this for your, all your assignments and major project flows. One of the ways that I recently redid this was for my sinking funds. If you don't know what sinking funds are, it basically is a different way of understanding what you're saving up for. Every year you might have something that is a one time a year payment, like if you have Amazon Prime, you know that that's coming at a certain day of the year, and so you can save throughout the year for that particular bill. You can also do the same thing for saving up for holidays or vacations. You work backwards from when that date is, and you can understand that you can put a little bit away at a time, and then you have enough money to pay that bill off in full when it comes. But when you have many, many things layered on over the next couple years, it's hard to get focused on what I, I wanted to save up for and when. So I needed to visualize throughout time what this looked like. So this is my sinking funds chart. This does not include the bills that come around every single year, every single month like my car payments and, and car maintenance and insurance, that's a sinking fund that I have all the time. I already know it's consistent. I don't need help visualizing that. But there's some other things that are maybe one-offs or that are, are I'm looking forward to in the future that I just need to understand when it falls in the timeline and when I should start saving up for those. So I'm not saving up for something way ahead of time when I don't need to. Built this out and just fit in as many of these as possible I basically played it out to be about two paychecks per month. There is technically a third one in July, but whatever. Um, I, I drew this out using the lightest color Tombow, which is the N89, and that way it, it could still provide some structure without it overtaking with harsh lines throughout the whole entire thing. And then I used these Passion Planner markers to add the highlights. I love these. Personally, I know a lot of people use the mild liners, but I like how subtle these are. It's enough color. It is all coordinated, so it's really easy for me to just go down the line and pick a highlighter. 
Okay, so you can see here I just started brain dumping all the things that I knew I wanted to save for. I went through a season of weddings when I was in my mid to late 20s and then it stopped for a couple years and now it's starting up again. So I'm like, okay, how do I save up for all of these <laughs> weddings? And um, knowing when they are is really helpful so that I can understand how much money I'm saving per month toward those things. For example, a friend of mine is getting married, hopefully in October, COVID willing. And so I want to save up in the couple months ahead of that. I don't know exactly how much that expense is going to be. So I'm going to leave this blank for now. But once I find out more information, then I kind of know how much I need to put away each month leading up to it. Um, I want to max out my 2020 Roth. So I have until April to do that. So I have to break out however much is left in order to contribute to that. And then down payment, you know, y'all, I'm still unsure, but you know that this pandemic has made me really think about how much space I have outside of this 10 by 10 bedroom. So I am saving some kind of amount for a down payment. And then I want to save ahead for the holidays. I want to replace a bunch of stuff that was stolen out of my <laughs> uh, storage locker this week. 2021 has been a hell of a start, I have to say. Uh, and then I know that folks are getting married in 2022. So saving up ahead of that, but not so far that it's like taking up space in my current sinking funds savings each month. Mapping this out is super helpful because now I know the priority of which things I should save for now versus later. And these can change throughout time, the more things that I find out. And of course, there are things that I've prioritized in my mind that I will lower the amount to save on in order to make and prioritize other things to save on. Like I will save less for a down payment if it gets in the way with something that's a little bit more urgent and other things. This has been really, really helpful for me to visualize. What I could do down here is add a page number for adding more notes about that particular savings goal if I wanted to, or I could add in the total amount that I'm trying to save up for these things. I probably want to break down a little bit further some of the lists like Christmas, like who are the people that I'm getting gifts for? What do those gifts estimate out to be? The list of people that I get gifts for changes each month or each year. So I want to break that out so that I understand how much money I'm even saving for something like that, that changes. Understanding the wedding that I'm going to involves travel. And so breaking down estimate of costs, other things that I might be doing on that trip for that wedding to add up to that total and other things like that. This is another way that I've used this exact same layout for other purposes. I need a visual and it helps me to see over time what that looks like. Listing it out in a column does not work for me. I love being able to see the overlap over time. How else could you use this? How else are you using this? Do you have questions? Do you have tips? I would love to hear in the comments below. I will let you know how this goes. I, I think even just the process of laying it out is super, super helpful. If you like this video, you might like some of my other videos about productivity and tips around visualizing your big goals. So check those out. Please go ahead, like, subscribe, share, whatever. I just hope that you enjoy it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.